Good morning, this is the Elmira Baptist Church update for Thursday, June 27th, 2024, and we are in the middle of our Vacation Bible School week. Three nights have gone, two more nights to go, and the verse today, of course, Galatians 6.19, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. A sincere thank you to all of those who contributed this week. Some of you helped ahead of time. You brought items, you contributed things for the crafts, for the snacks. Uh, many of you helped prepare items for all these beautiful decorations for the uh, uh, craft time. And I just want to say a big thank you to those of you who have not been able to be with us Monday through Friday evening, but help prepare ahead of time. And I want to say a big thank you for those who have volunteered their time to be here every night this week. Thank you. We could not do it without you. Now, every Sunday is an important day, and we want to meet on Sundays to praise God. Don't ever forget that. We're here to worship. Now, we have fellowship with each other. We learn from God's word. We're encouraged. We're inspired. But we are here to worship, and this Sunday is no different so I hope you'll be able to join us. We'll meet at 9.45 for our Sunday school hour. Then at 11 o'clock, I have a message to you. Last week, cautionary tales. Lot chooses Sodom. Uh, this week, cautionary tales. Lot versus Abraham. Faith and obedience versus doubt and disobedience. We're going to see some more lessons from Genesis. This time, Genesis chapter 19. If you want to read that chapter will be in that chapter a lot genesis chapter 19 our text is actually matthew 16 verses 23 through 28 you should read those as well and then sunday evening is our vbs family night vacation bible school family night we've invited the parents to come the children to come back and it's going to be a special night and that evening i want to talk about peace in our homes peace in our homes ephesians chapter Four, verses 31 and 32. Here are some upcoming events to keep in mind. Of course, this Sunday evening, uh, Vacation Bible School Family Night, and then starting July 3rd, next Wednesday, July 3rd, the men and the women will meet together here in this uh, room. And which reminds me, Monday, July 1st, 10 o'clock, there'll be some folks here to take these decorations down. So uh, that's July 1st, 10 o'clock to take the decorations down. And then Sunday, July 14th, Ken and Andrea Jack are going to be with us all day. And I encourage you to be a part of that. I could use someone to host them. If you would like to do that, let me know. And then someone to provide a meal on Saturday, dinner I'm thinking, and Sunday afternoon, a lunch for the Jacks. Please let me know if you're interested in that. I have some more news on our building project today. It is humming right along. You and I have been praying some time that God would just get the wheels rolling again and boy are they rolling. We had inspections a couple of weeks ago for the rough ends. Those all passed. They installed the insulation. That inspection passed and now today they're working on drywall over there. Much of the drywall, I would say a majority of the drywall is already done. There's still more to do but the drywall is done. Following that they'll be uh, 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 typing it, mudding it, texturing it. Of course, there'll be an inspection, and then the real work starts, and that is getting in. Now, now don't get ahead of me here. Uh, when the drywall is mudded, taped, textured, and approved, we still have to get the bathrooms done, still have to decide what to do uh, about uh, safety issues, and get those items done before we can move in. So don't get ahead of me here. Um, I did get a letter, uh, email from PG&E, Pacific Gas and Electric, yesterday that told us that the plans are, the schedule is to energize our electrical system in the middle of August. There's a couple steps ahead of that. So would you pray with me that God would just give us favor with all these different pieces that are involved, that we could get that uh, building finished up, we could get it energized there in the month of August and, and perhaps be in it as soon as this fall. That's our goal. That's our goal. Don't miss what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't promise anything, but we want to get into that building. We want to start using it for God's honor and glory. Give us more space. Give us more opportunities to minister. 
there is a lot of work between now and getting in. And as I've mentioned before, getting in doesn't mean the work's all done. Getting in means we have permission to use that facility. There'll be a lot of work to do after that, a lot of work. And one of the reasons that we're putting off much of that work until after we get in is we have a grant and we get the last third of that grant after we have occupancy permission. So that's our goal right now, occupancy permission. And then there'll be even more to do. Church, we need to talk. <laughs> We've got uh, a new building coming online here by God's grace and with his help in the next few months before the end of 2024. Uh, we have so much ahead of us. And so on Sunday night, July 7th, I want to remind you about our 20-year plan here at Elmira Baptist Church. Some of you may say, I didn't know you had one. That's probably true. Um, it's not something I talk about a lot, but I will be talking about that on July, Sunday evening, July 7th. And then I'm going to use those Wednesday nights in July and August. So starting July 3rd, when men and women are meeting together again, I want to talk about the five things that we want to focus on at Elmira Baptist Church. Five things we want to focus on. Every church has a culture. Every church has a way they handle things. Every church has an emphasis. And our church does too. And if you are a member here, I want to ask you to either be there on Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, or if you can't make it, we'll post these through Sermon Audio. And if you would listen to that teaching so that you are part of you understand the bigger vision, the, the broad picture of what Elmira Baptist Church is, is aiming for. You remember a couple of years ago, I had the question just to focus us. Does it make the boat go faster? And if you don't remember that story, you come see me. I'd be glad to share it with you. Does it make the boat go faster? This time, I want to use a different phrase. Go all in on your best product. Now, that might sound like a marketing term, and I admit it is. I'm going to tweak it, but we've got some things that Elmira Baptist Church does well, and we want to keep focusing on those things to God's glory and to honor Him. So that's in the month of July, July 7th, Sunday night, July 3rd, 10th, 17th, 24th, and the 31st, those evenings as well. I thank you for praying for Vacation Bible School, continue to pray for our, our safety. seems like things have gone well so far. It, and, and the Lord's protected us. I'm grateful for that. I'm thankful for all the volunteers, lots and lots of people volunteering and uh, coming on out, so you keep that up. Galatians 6, 9, Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. The, the key is to keep on serving the Lord, not to give up. I, I know when I get tired, I tend to get discouraged. I tend to get depressed uh, when I'm walking in the flesh, discouraged and depressed. Uh, just give up. Uh, just go through the motions and see if I can even get rid of some of the motions so that I can just, just sit and, 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 and soak and sour. That's, that's not God's intention for us. It's easy to get discouraged when we're tired. We try something, it doesn't work, we just throw up our hands and say, see, nothing matters. We become apathetic. I become easily frustrated and angry, and there can be outbursts when I just can't take it anymore because I'm tired. Some people get apathetic when they're tired, lethargic, and there certainly needs to be times of rest and relaxation and rejuvenation. There are seasons of, of life, and we've been through as a church, we've been through a busy season, a couple of months here, really starting with our, uh, our efforts to get people out on Resurrection Sunday, and then, of course, our spring conference and Mother's Day and Father's Day and, and now Vacation Bible School. And you may be tired. I know I'm tired. But let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. We need to focus on what God is accomplishing. And He is at work. There are some things we can see with our own eyes. We've experienced and we ought to be thankful for that and praise Him for that. There are some things we haven't seen, things that are going on in, in, the, in the background that we don't know about, but we can trust that God will reward our efforts if we're faithful in serving Him. So I want to encourage you, 
not to be weary in well-doing, because in due season we will reap if we faint not. Now don't forget we're meeting this Sunday, 9.45 for Sunday school, 11 o'clock for morning worship, and 5 o'clock is our Vacation Bible School family evening. I hope that you'll join us.